What's up YouTube? Today we are looking at the most epic mix of the PC industry with the restaurant industry, the KFC console. That's right. The KFC console is super real. So earlier in the year, we thought it was an April Fool's joke. At least most of us did. I did. We thought that it was just KFC pulling the leg on the tech industry, but apparently it's real. And that is confirmed by the fact that Cooler Master is officially partnered with KFC to actually make a bucket shaped console. And this thing is quite powerful from the specifications we've seen on Cooler Master's website with all the bragging going on. But perhaps the most unique thing about the KFC console is the fact that it is a chicken warmer. That's right, it keeps your chicken hot and toasty. Now, don't get confused, there is a little bit of miscommunication going on within Twitter and whatnot that this thing bakes your chicken. It doesn't, it's not an oven, it's not a toaster. It just uses the heat produced by the components within the machine to actually warm up the chicken, which by itself is super cool and quite literally outside the box. And there is nothing in the market like the KFC console in terms of both design and its use case functionality. Now, Cooler Master is making some pretty bold claims. They say that this console will be capable of doing 4K gaming at 200 frames per second. Furthermore, it is powered by an Intel NUC 9 Extreme Compute Element processor, which is a fancy way of saying it's a 9th gen Intel Core i9 processor. So it's plenty powerful. Also, it will have a hot swappable GPU. They haven't specified which GPU they're using. It must be a pretty powerful one given the fact that they're bragging about 4K at 240 frames per second. Also, it will have day one VR capabilities. And of course, it has all the ray tracing fun goodies you'd expect in a high-end console. It's also worth noting that the KFC console would supposedly come with two one terabyte Barracuda SSDs. So it should be pretty fast in terms of write and read speeds as well. Now I know what you're thinking. The more you hear about this, the more it sounds like a gaming PC as opposed to a gaming console. And you're probably right to think that because if you go on Cooler Master's website, we have nominal details on the actual console itself. All we know is that it's using a 9th gen i9 processor. We don't know which variant of it. We also don't know what GPU is gonna come off the bat. So so a lot of speculation, of course, but it's got to be pretty powerful if it's going to make those bold claims come to reality. Furthermore, the fact that this thing has a chicken warmer means that it's going to have pretty powerful hardware that produces a lot of heat. And I have to give it to KFC and Cooler Master. The fact that you're taking wasted heat and recycling to actually warm up chicken is brilliant. I mean, it sounds really good on paper and I think it will work well if executed properly and I'm sure Cooler Master has given a lot of thought to it. It sounds ridiculous. We're talking about warming up chicken inside a gaming PC, but it's pretty cool. We also don't know what operating system will be on board this console. So if it's using a window system, then it's actually categorized as a gaming PC by default, unless you're otherwise using a modified OS that's designed specifically for a console-like experience. It's hard to say right now. We don't know if it's gonna have a controller or if it's just gonna be you know, connected through a mouse and keyboard. So those things will be defined over time, hopefully. I really, really do hope that the KFC console becomes a reality. I mean, Cooler Master seems to have put a fair bit of thought into it. I just hope that this is something we see a public release for in the near future. And kudos to them for trying to think outside the box. Even if this thing isn't that successful, I definitely think the fact that they came up with this shows that they're trying to put a lighthearted take on that industry and I love it. Let me know in the comment section below if you would even remotely consider getting the KFC console when it's publicly released. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. As always guys, if you enjoy the content on my channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps me grow, keeps me motivated to provide you with more awesome tech product reviews and news. Until next time, Soul of Tech, logging out.